Hi, Dr. Shashidhar. Hello. Hi. Um, doctor, I wanted to ask you, it, is it a task to convince uh, patients that they need to undergo dialysis when required? Uh, also, can you enlighten what steps are to be taken by a patient of chronic kidney disease to delay the progression of chronic kidney disease and thereby delay the need of dialysis therapy? Yes, definitely it's a very difficult task to somebody to uh, convey them that they have to undergo dialysis because uh, most of them take it as a death sentence because the moment you say that your kidneys function have failed and mm -hmm. that you have to start on uh, some kidney replacement therapy like dialysis or transplantation. So most of the times uh, we take up uh, some famous film personalities as well because sometimes uh, they are uh, the persons who can um, convey the message because sometimes we tell that famous film personalities who have undergone uh, hemodialysis right from um, the Kapoor family or some. So that way we tell about some mm -hmm. famous stars who have uh, undergone dialysis and nothing has happened to them over time and uh, that's how we convince them. But definitely it is a very good, uh, very difficult task to yeah. convince them that uh, kidney replacement therapy and especially for children, elderly people, uh, it is a very big task because a lot of emotional factors are involved. Mm -hmm. Somebody who is a breadwinner of the family, for them again it is a big task. So all these are the major uh, what difficulties we face. Yeah. And uh, coming to your second question of uh, what delays the progression to uh, the kidney disease. Uh, like m most of the times we have seen that uh, now that Hyderabad is a diabetes capital. It is? Yes. I would guess. Yes. Hyderabad. Hyderabad is the diabetes capital of India. So we have a lot of diabetic patients here. And uh, as... We uh, have double ka meter. <laughs> it's double. Yeah. So, uh, good <laughs> control of glycemic uh, index, that is, uh, good control of the sugars is very important to prevent the progression of the kidney disease. So, most of them, because of the silent uh, symptoms of diabetes, most of them neglect and then they don't undergo any uh, get investigations to uh, screen their uh, mm -hmm. sugar level and other things. So, that is the main, uh, uh, one of the key uh, factor which... Uh, which can be prevented in uh, progression of the disease. Second thing is hypertension control and uh, we see that uh, most of us are working overnight, overstressed. Even now I am stressed when I am talking to you because... <laughs> but like, I think our parents were also stressed but they called it life, this is life and they went on with it. But yeah, this generation yeah. talks about stress way too much. Way too much, yeah. And my so, younger generation, the cousins and little kids that I talk to, hmm. like everything is stress. Yeah. For us, it was, okay, I have to work hard and study hard yeah. to pass or I have to do this or I have to compete with all my classmates. But for them, it's stress. Yeah. Exams are stress. Yeah. It's Most of the time, a bit too much. Yeah. So for me also, now I'm getting stressed talking to you, but over time, I think that will come down. <laughs> so again, long working hours. The, uh, the uh, third thing is sometimes the diet also, what they mm. take. Most of us are taking junk foods because of stress. And I think that's one thing that uh, my parents didn't do. Everything was home food mm. or this generation eats a lot of junk food. Junk food, yes. They say it is because of the stress they eat the junk food because uh, because some foods are supposed to be aphrodisiacs. Because some they say that uh, you feel good when you eat something. So it is happens to most of us like, you know, when we are stressed out, we take a lot of Diet Coke or when we have exams and all a lot of smoking happens, even among doctors also. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure, yeah, you're yeah. human. Yeah, so all are humans, so stress yeah. level is very high. And, uh, sympathetic drive will be more, so hypertension is more common. So nowadays, we, uh, this kind of generation, we see most of uh, diet. Diet is very important mm. in preventing the progression of the kidney disease. Some uh, other factors like, you know, uh, weight loss, obesity is one of the most common uh, cause of uh, further progression of the kidney disease. Uh, weight loss also? Weight loss. Why is that? Uh, because sometimes <coughs> it leads to malnutrition. We have seen um, uh, uh, excessive weight loss also leads to malnutrition, dehydration. Especially now summers, you have to take good amount of fluid intake is very common. We all sit in ACs and most of the times we don't drink. Yeah, we don't drink water. We don't drink water. So yeah. that kind of a situation is there. 
other uh, common factors like you uh, know uh, too much of smoking or too much of alcohol again leads to further uh, deterioration of the kidney functions so of all of them diabetes is the most common what we see and uh, now that hyderabad is a diabetes capital we don't know whether it should be <laughs> so yeah that's the main thing yeah no it's crazy it's alcohol smoking stress sugar <laughs> I mean, the next generations find it really hard to yeah, stay away from. Yeah, nowadays we see a lot of young people also coming with uh, kidney disease. Yeah. So, what is the youngest and what is the old? Youngest, he can be a newborn also. No. Newborn also. Then. Um, really. Some, yes, newborn also because of congenital defects of the. Okay. Uh, that might be some genetic issues. Or okay. Congenital. So newborns also mm. land up in uh, kidney disease. but generally for them to undergo transplant we wait for a minimum age uh, i mean minimum wait also so that uh, then only we can do a transplant otherwise they be on uh, dialysis or other mm. so it is very um, uh, scary sometimes to see the younger generation suffering um, it is uh, we also feel bad whenever we see an young person going through all this yeah. uh, going to school going to uh, do this routine uh, mm. all this is a painful thing yeah. and when do you normally see the onset which age generally uh, most of them will be between 10 to 20 years okay but uh, some syndromes are there congenital nephrotic syndromes and other things where they start off with uh, early age of 1 year like that. some can develop as soon as they are born <laughs> because of the uh, congenital defects so they can have a kidney disease just after the yeah birth of the child and all so again exactly. prenatal screening is very important so mothers have to be um, uh, screened properly for the ultrasound generally mm-hmm. everybody is concentrating on the fetus but uh, it is good to view the other organs as well mm. because they don't uh, visualize the kidneys and other things so those uh, issues are there yeah i remember when i was in when i was pregnant they did the whole um organ study so also organ study yeah fetal yeah. study complete uh, yeah so Was again lack of awareness of the yes lack yeah. of awareness of those uh, kind of situations again um, the doctor has to tell them that you need to be screened for the entire thing hmm so in a periphery setup again this might be difficult to exactly analyze and hmm thank you doctor thank, thank you, you thank for you. your time